What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's your boy Kevin to turn on this motherfucking YouTube shit. What's up? What's up? What's up? It's show boy. Can't you tell me this shit? Hey man, say man, we are lit. Lean the team, man. Turn, 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 turn. Today, today, like today. So here now, side encryption, man. Hey man, say man, we out here, man. In the north side, man, trying to get lit, turn in this bit, man. Um, make sure y'all like and subscribe your videos up, man. We put out a bunch of heat left and right, man. You know, we like to get to these videos quick with the ASAP readiness, you know what I'm saying? So, big crip out here from the north side, man. We're trying to do our thing in this bit, man. We're really putting put, put the black Hebrew lights on, man. Make sure y'all fuck with your boy, man. And yeah, we're gonna get to this damn video quick as possible, man. Cause you know, it's gonna be a long, um, video for the day. So, for well, that one video anyway. So, make sure y'all like and subscribe your bit and we up in this bitch, man. Alright. So today, two more for today. We gonna talk about Lil Dirk, man. So if you did not know, man, Ryan W. Millie and King Von was was managers uh, was managed by a hundred track. You know what I'm saying? And it's so much drama behind that shit that it's just you feel me? Yeah. And I think Lil Dirk met Wine Day Millie and King Von, you know, they met, cause you know, they managed by it. They, they managed, so you know, Lil Dirk knew both of all of them, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, Lil Dirk been going through some shit, man. Um, I guess recently, man, um, he came into, I guess he admitted himself into the hospital, man. You did? Now, um, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, a lot been going on lately, man. You know, it get anybody type of stress. You feel me? And uh, if you stressed out, man, you don't eat. You don't, you know what I'm saying? You're not getting your right amount of sleep. You always moving, nigga. You know what I'm saying? When you stressed out, man, sometimes that's not the best feeling in the fucking world. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, you know, shit happens. You feel me? A lot of you rappers, man. You know what I mean? My favorite rappers, you know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers be having PS PTSD. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, sometimes, man, you know, you when you got PTSD, man, it'd be hard for you to go to sleep. You always up. You know what I'm saying? You always, like, worrying what the fuck going on. You know what I'm saying? So much shit be happening. So you just, like, you don't know what the fuck can happen next. You know what I'm saying? Just crazy shit can pop off. So, you know, you already, you already, already on, off the bat on edge, you dig? So you just like, you ready for anything. But that, sometimes it's not good for your body if you're not eating it and drinking and drinking water or at least fucking shit to help your body, like, you know what I'm saying, rehydrate and shit. And, you know, uh, Lil Dirt, you know what I'm saying, he, like I said, he admitted himself into the hospital. And they, he, was saying that, that was, he, he was trying to get in and get out. But they said it was really bad that he had to stay because, you know, he was dehydrated. And a lot of more shit. Now, I got uh, some clips of what the fuck, you know what I'm saying, going on. You know what I'm saying? That we can really kind of understand what the fuck is going on with, with uh, Lil Dirk, you feel me? Because at the end of the day, man, you know, um, these, these rappers, you know, people be on the go. You know what I'm saying? People are always on the move, left and right. Move, 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 move like crack, nigga. So sometimes, you know what I'm saying? You moving so fucking fast, nigga, you just don't, you just. Run up and you don't even worry about your your body is not even your body is like is 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 kinda trying to catch up to what you're trying to do. You did. So we got the video of some shit what people think. So we're gonna put the uh, the video in. And we found out, you know, not too long ago that Dirk was hospitalized, it has been hospitalized for the past week. Now, there are some conflicting reports because the official report that's coming out through, you know, multiple media sources is that he's been in a hospital for the past week with severe hydration, dehydration and exhaustion, um, only to be released yesterday. It said that he checked into the hospital on July the 6th after falling ill 
in Ohio. Um, he went to the hospital for safety measures, but the doctors told him when he was there that it was more serious and that his team realized, you know, it, and quickly admitted him. Now, here's the thing. The sudden health care scare, you know, pretty much caused Dirk to miss a show in Europe and yesterday's ESPY Awards. And he still hasn't been cleared by physicians to return to work. Now, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. I think it goes a little bit deeper than what people are, was being reported. I mean, you exhaustion and dehydration. You give somebody the IV, you stabilize them. You get him out of there, you know. Um, and see, remember, this is the entertainment industry. They have different publicists and PR people that are paid handsomely to make sure that your image stays intact. And who knows what it could have been. I'm not going to be here to speculate. I've heard things from different sources, but I'm not going to put it out there because I don't know, you know how true the information is about what really happened, you know, to Dirk. So I'll be respect. I respect you know, that aspect of it until more information does come out. But what I will say is that, you know, these lifestyles, man, a lot of you really got to be in tip top shape and in optimum health for the lifestyle that these guys try to lead. Right. You can't be drinking every night, drugging every night, smoking every night. I mean, when you're younger, you could do it. Now, he's 30, 31 years old now. When in your 20s, your teens, you can get away with that. Once you start getting higher 20s, your 30s, your 40s, these things begin to catch up with you. Every night, every city, it's a club, it's a show, you know, and then it's this. You got to be putting proper fluids in your body, eating right, and getting your rest at the end of the day, exercising and all that. You can't just be doing shows, sweating, losing all these body fluids, drinking mad liquor, popping, smoking and all that, and then jump up and think everything's going to be cool. Nah, it just ain't going to happen like that, you know, and... That's what I'm kind of thinking, you know, more so was the issue. You know, I'm not, you know, slandering his name. This is stuff that he clearly talks about drinking and smoking and, and, and popping. He talks about that, you know. And just because somebody is not obese don't mean that they're healthy. You know, we look at these guys and we say, oh, man, he looks like he's a... Don't let that... I'll be back. So, if you ever like a look to the video, you know what I'm saying? Um, It was trying to say, basically, that little dirty man... He, um, you know, drugs, man, it's crazy, man. It's like, you can do drugs, you know what I'm saying, if you can handle it. You know what I'm saying? If your body can handle it, and you, if you mentally can handle it. You dig? It's like, yeah, you can do drugs, and sometimes, I don't know the kind you're doing. If, you don't, if you're not in healthy shape enough to even do what you're doing, you know what I'm saying, you, it can fuck you up. Like, like lean for type shit. If you a big nigga doing lean, I don't think that's the type of, I don't think that's the type of drug for big niggas to be doing, you know what I'm saying? Because off the simple fact, it can kind of, you know what I'm saying, kill you type shit because it can make you have a heart attack, all type shit, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, when you got all that weight on your chest, it's already hard for your heart to beat because you got all that weight on your chest, you know what I'm saying? Then you just like, you do, you, you making your shit slow down even more, so it's just like, you know what I'm saying? So when you kind of healthy and you, and you doing a lot of drugs, that's kind of can fuck you up, you know what I'm saying? But you know, we always see from like rappers like Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne had like how many seasons from doing lean? But he was always going on airplanes. You know, airplanes they fuck up your 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 how your body is. Like it fucks you up because you in air and shit and the gravity and it messes up how you how you how your body is feeling. So you know, it's like you you popping pills, smoking weed and shit all at the same time, man. It can kind of fuck you up. Especially if you're always on the move and you're not eating and you're not drinking and shit and you just moving, 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 moving and you always sleep and shit and you're not working out or nothing like that shit can fuck you up, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it can make you extra, extra skinny, you yeah. And, you know, they was trying to say Lil Dirk was just like dehydrated. Like in the video, y'all seen the video, it make you dehydrated and shit, but like people were trying to say that he might be on some other shit. But we don't really know, you feel me? Because it's like, you know, a lot of rappers be saying they be doing all types of shit. And don't be doing nothing, you know what I'm saying? Don't be doing a, not a type of drug at all. How, and you hear some rappers who don't, who don't even smoke weed. 
know what I'm saying? I don't know how niggas do that, you know what I'm saying? How much fucking crazy life is, you know what I'm saying? You know what the fuck is going be smoking weed? They just be out just rapping. Don't do nothing. Don't do nothing. But, you know, you know, niggas, niggas be, you know, some niggas are just like that, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, when I do my drugs and shit, I always feel like I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I'm chill. You know what I'm saying? I'm just on a level, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't overdo it. You feel me? I don't just like, just go crazy type shit. If I was me, you know what I'm saying? Well, I don't know go crazy just popping shit, you know what I'm saying? You feel me? I just like take what I can get and just yeah. But a lot of you niggas just be going like when um uh when um Pooh Shiesty friend had passed with RP. Uh, you know, he was on the pills. And the pills took him out, you know. Cause like you you popping like three, four, five pills and shit, nigga, you going it make anybody, you know what I'm saying, go crazy. You feel me? So, you know, he, so like I said, he went to the hospital, man, and they say he got released and shit, man. So, hopefully, you know, but, you know, it's kind of weird, you know what I'm saying, on his fucking mixtape that's almost healed. So, you know, he, he will be going to the hospital. So, was he trying to tell people before he went to the hospital that he was, he was fucked up? Or is he just, you know what I'm saying? I don't fucking know, you know what I'm saying, but... You know, some motherfuckers really do be on some extra ass shit, man. And they gotta get their body pumped. They gotta get HIV clean. I said HIV. H, them little things in your um, in your blood system. Like, that shit crazy, man. But hey, hopefully, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing too crazy. It's just like he can just do a little bit of exercise, eat more healthy, and drink more water type shit. You feel me? Like, at the end of the day, man, I feel like, bro, you know, living that rapper lifestyle. It's hard sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Because you can do whatever the fuck you want to, but you got, but sometimes you be on a strict schedule, you know what I'm saying? Because you be, you be trying to make that, that sh the money on so quick, you know what I'm saying? So you go, you try to make that money on so quick, you be going that way, this way, that way, this way, this way, over chair, over chair, over chair, over chair, over chair, over chair, you know what I'm saying? So they be going around flying left and right, live, uh, driving and shit, you know? Motherfuckers don't have time to sleep. Oh, they do sleep. They ain't sleeping comfortably. They ain't sleeping like good. So, hey, I feel like, man, if you could, if you could survive, if you could survive Chicago shooting, <laughs> you can survive a little dehydration. That's how I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? If you can survive niggas shooting at you, nigga, I'm pretty sure a nigga can survive motherfucking dehydration. Cause nigga, getting shot at 24/7 or Motherfucking dehydration. I I think he really had the dehydration to be honest. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker be losing their people so quick and so close to him over dumb shit, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like man, um motherfuckers do drugs, man, just to escape sometimes the pain or what's going on in life. They, they just wanna be on the just zoned out, you know what I'm saying? They just wanna be rapping and zoned out. Get the bag, get the quick bag, but at the same time, you know what you put your all into it, Paul. Because I got a mic like that. But you wanna put your all into it, you know what I'm saying? And um and go on and just do what you do. But it's hard sometimes when you be trying to you be trying to rap and you know you, you got a busy schedule, you know, motherfucker, but that's that's not even for rappers even in general. That's for everybody in general, you know what I'm saying? Anybody who put in work, you know what I'm saying? Like if you got that high, if you got that that, that type of lifestyle where you always in the mood. And you, there's no time for you to rest. You know, it make anybody type get tired, kind of sick and tired. You feel me? And it, and like I said, sometimes it don't even be the drug, man. It just be just because you dehydrated or exhausted. So we can, just, we can just say, man, that man, little dirty. You know what I'm saying? He trying to make sure that you know, cause motherfuckers getting kind of up trip, You know what I'm saying? After 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 a while, you know, motherfucking all that stress kind of do adds up. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you gotta have a good body. You know what I'm saying? You gotta work out. You know what I'm saying? You gotta always be in shape. So when you get older and shit, man, you just when you get older and shit, you know what I'm saying? You can just like you feel me, be in your good life shape. You know what I'm saying? Like so you could be you could be in the concert, rocking out or going on going on a concert, rocking out and shit, and, and, and being lit. You did and turn up like crip shit, like you did like. But it's hard, you know what I'm saying? When you're in shape, and a lot of these niggas not motivated to get in shape. You know what I'm saying? Because some niggas are just naturally skinny. You be wondering, how the fuck is that nigga so skinny? Niggas just naturally skinny. High metabolism. But it's like when you get, but it's like, 
You can be super skinny but unhealthy at the same time because you just eat a lot of junk food. Yo, so your body just eating a lot of junk food, like candy and shit. And you just working your body, you just working that shit off as quick as fuck, but and, and but your body not healthy and shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you're not eating nothing healthy, so your body's not really healthy. You just moving around a lot. And so your body is trying to keep up, but at the same time you eating all this unhealthy ass shit. You know what I'm saying? So your body don't get is more exhausted faster than somebody who's kinda healthy. You know what I'm saying? Like I eat a lot of pizza. But you know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with protein and, 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 and nutrition like that shit. You know what I'm saying? No. If I if you know if you was a big nigga, you know what I'm saying, you be eating a lot of pizza. Yeah, you'd be like, eh, you might need to slow down with that shit. If you like a skinny nigga, you know what I'm saying, and you keep it kinda fresh with it, like vegetables or, or a motherfucking fruit or some shit. Instead, you know what I'm saying, that can that could be a, a a healthy meal, cause you know what I'm saying. You get your all your you get all your nutrition in it. You get your, your your bread. You know what I'm saying. Get the sauce. You know what I'm saying. So everything is already on that motherfucking pizza. So it's just like, but it's like when when you eat like, but it's like when you like rapping and you just on every fucking everything and you just eating like candy. Cause I don't eat a lot of candy. You know what I'm saying. I, that's one thing. I, I you know when I was younger and shit, motherfucker was like we always ate candy. Like the parade I show y'all niggas, man. If y'all was oh, if y'all OGs on this bitch, I was, it was like last month, you know, Juneteenth parade. They was giving out, they was throwing candy. We had that shit every year. So you know, as kids, we had big bags of candy every fucking year. You know what I'm saying? Big bags of candy. We had to put it up because we had so much candy. We get regular candy because like a dollar. So it's like eating candy was just like normal. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like you ain't got oh yeah, candy out there just just you know what I'm saying? Unless it's edibles, you did. But you feel me, so it's like you gotta you gotta put some of that shit down, you know what I'm saying? You know, and lean that's one shit that can make you kinda just drift off and get kinda lazy because lean is like it makes you not it, it makes you just feel like just laid back. You feel me? But that's the bad thing that's the bad thing about it, cause if you so laid back, you be trying to move your body. Your heart and your body is trying to catch up to you, trying to move fast, and it's not working. Because <laughs> you're just on that shit. And you're, and you're trying to move fast as hell, but you just hot. You, you, you eat unhealthy, then you just fucked up. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully it's just not, it's not even that. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully it's just like he just, like they said, dehydrated and exhausted type shit. And they can just go on and get that nigga up and out. So, you know, they didn't say they had to pump his stomach or anything. So it's not like he had an OD or some shit. It's just like, he just got hey, a little bit unhealthy. So you feel me? So make sure y'all like subscribe these videos up, man. You know what I'm saying? We try to put out the heat every fucking day, man. Try to give up, try to let y'all niggas know what the fuck is going on, man. You know what I'm saying? Keep y'all in, 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 in tune with this bitch, man. Make y'all sure y'all fuck with your boy. And yeah, we out there chilling outside. The biggest creep. Yes, sir. Hey, Dad, you know that when we link up, dog, this shit be legendary. You know this is instrumental. You the engineer on it, so. Pull that everywhere.